LeBron Ray of James Clemens High School, the Tuscaloosa News' is number one player in the state. LeBron, how are you today? Doing good. I got to ask you, um, what was your reaction when you found out that, that people are starting to really find out about you and that you were being recognized as the number one player in the state? Um, honestly, I couldn't believe it. But um, it's just, yeah, um, a, lot, a lot of hard work into it and um, something that I really believe in. So it's just I just try to work the hardest. And, you know, I guess, I guess it paid off. LeBron Ray here, number one player in the state, joining us on the Subtles Approach. If you have not seen him, go to Tidesports.com. He's, he's on the main picture. You can see an example of the hard work he's talking about, how physically developed he is. You grew up in a household where you, your dad played college football, your two older brothers played college football. How did that shape how you viewed the game and how, and how seriously you took it and, and you, you kind of exposure to college football? Um, it's, it's huge. You know, um... Yeah, my dad, he played at A&M, and then, you know, my two brothers played college uh, football, too. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot to live up to, but he's just, yeah, something that's just my dad says is, just, you know, you got to put a whole lot of hard work um, into it. Whatever you want, you have to work hard to get it, and then, you know, just see how my brothers use that, too, and where they are now. So, um, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it was really big for me growing up. Talking to LeBron Ray, out the state of Alabama's number one ranked player by the Tuscaloosa News. How much did your dad have an influence on you? And, and you know, talking to your coach Wade Waldrop, he said if he he would be completely fine if he had a son. You know, letting your dad raise him as well as you and your brothers turned out. What kind of influence did your dad have on you? And in terms of that hard work and how you view the game, uh, he had, he had a big influence on on all, on all of us. Um, you know, yeah. I him playing the hand now. You know, we all wanted to be like him, but now we like him better than him. So, you know, we just, yeah, we just, we knew what we had to do it. We we just tried to do it to our best ability. Your your older brother, Brandon Ray, plays at Western Kentucky. And from what I've been told, he's, uh, he's a hard-nosed guy. And you guys are, are similar in age. How much did you know yeah. working out with him, competing with him, did you learn from him? Um, I learned a lot. You know, um, it's it's definitely good to have you know somebody that you know is uh, is on the next level. You know, so yeah, working out with him, you know, it's, it's definitely it's definitely big, and it's um, it's been good for me. You know, just to see what they do, how you know how the games look looks. Um, for for them, I and mean, then you know, just just you know, getting you know, trying to take what he gives me, so I can you know be be even more ready for uh, college. Talking to LeBron Ray, the number one ranked player in the state of Alabama. Is there a player that growing up that you kind of looked at? You know, you, you play defensive end. Is there a player on that side of the ball that you you try to pattern your game after that it really was kind of an inspiration to you? Um. Mm. It's not one like specifically, but I mean, you know, it's it's, it's a couple that I look at that um, that definitely I just try to do some things like them. Talking to LeBron Ray, the, the Tuscaloosa News is number one ranked player in the state. You know, you've got the size. You obviously worked hard, but you were blessed with great size. What do you, you what do you think is your biggest advantage? Is it your size and your your strength, or is it your length? Because you you've got long arms that also help you um, kind of dominate. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's a combination uh, between my, my length and my uh, strength. Yeah, um, I just try to use that, you know, to my best ability and, you know, try to, you know, use it so where, you know, I can be, um, I can be effective. Talking to LeBron Ray here, the, the number one ranked player in the state, you Alabama offered you in February. What was that moment like? I mean, they're just coming off winning a national championship. Nick Saban is offering you a scholarship. What was that sort of a surreal moment for you and your family? Definitely. Um, yeah, they yeah they just won the championship, and then you know the process itself just started to blow up, and then you know that happened, and I was just you know I 
I don't know. I, I was definitely uh, excited and um, blessed. You know, I'm blessed, you know, to have a university like that look at, look at me like that and, you know, offer me scholarship. You've been to Alabama. You, you, you know, you live in the state of Alabama. You've grown up with them being a pretty dominant program. What, what are your feelings when you – what do you think of when you when you hear the words Alabama football? Um, I think of, you know, championships. I think of um, high work. I think of um, great players. And then most – most I think of great coaches. Or, you know, great coaches to have, you know, because – they, I mean, they they recruit great players, but they they make them even better. They um, and then you know they just they play as a team, they play as a unit. And that's why I think they're that successful every year and out. Talking to LeBron Ray, uh, Tuscaloosa News' number one ranked player in the state. Has your life changed at all since people started to notice you? I mean, you you went from a guy who got his first college scholarship. A scholarship offer from Western Kentucky, and then all of a sudden, Michigan's strongly recruiting you in Tennessee and Old Miss and Alabama and Florida State. Yeah. Is is that weird? I mean, for one minute you're you're LeBron, and the next minute you're LeBron, the the famous football player. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, it was crazy. It, it got yeah, definitely. You know, overwhelming. But it's just you just got uh you got to know how to deal with it. You got to you know deal with it the right way to where, you know, you don't, you know, get a big head where, you know, you just, you try to just take it one day at a time and, you know, that, I mean, all that stuff, it take care of itself. And, and lastly, wrapping up here with LeBron Ray, the number one ranked player in the state of Alabama, what are your, what are your goals for your senior year? Um, definitely, you know, really the only one is, you know, winning the championship, getting the ring to be honest. But, I mean, just for myself, I mean, you know, just maybe around, you know, 16 sacks, 16 to 20. That's what I want to want. That's what I really want. And then, you know, um, yeah, just just try to be as effective as I can be on the field on every play so I can have my team 